Mac Method Gang. We're gonna be talking about five reasons you are not aesthetic. A lot of you guys are out here fat or just twigs, skinny fat, you know what I'm saying? And you're wondering, why can't I get an aesthetic physique? Why can't I look like me? Why, <laughs> let me stop. No, but seriously, why can't I get in shape? Why can't I get that physique I really want to? My dream body, this and that. And if you're just starting your journey, I applaud you for starting, you know what I'm saying? This is the best investment you can make literally in your life is to start working out. I've said the reasons a million times in every single video and I'll say it again. Number one, your health, bro. Literally people say health is wealth, but they don't work out. They don't do anything for their health. They eat garbage all day. They don't literally, they they always claim, oh, well, you need to have the best fuel. You need to operate at a high, all this stuff, but they, they eat crap all day. They don't provide their body with any source of energy, AKA working out, you know what I'm saying? They don't do any of that, but health is wealth though. You, know, I can go on and on, bro. Um, first of all, you're gonna look good. Or second of all, you're gonna look good. Three, you're gonna have more confidence. You're gonna feel way better. Four, opportunities. I'm talking about relationships. I'm talking about job opportunities. I'm talking about business. Anything, everything, bro. Opportunities. Fifth reason is you're gonna stand out. You're literally, I talk about this too much. You get the point now, you know why. That's why you're trying to fucking get your body like that. So let's get straight into it, right? Five reasons why you cannot be, or why you're not aesthetic. So number one, you don't have a workout schedule. Bro, you don't have a, you literally don't have a workout schedule. You just show up on some random, and then you do anything. <laughs> like how can you think that you're gonna get good results if you're literally just showing up twice a week maybe one time out of the month bro what are you like and then you don't even have a workout schedule to where you don't even know what you're doing in there and i get it people are beginners you know what i'm saying they don't know what to do this and that there's millions of youtube videos by the way there's trail my video there's so many videos at this point it's like you if you don't know how to do it you're literally just ignorant or you're just lazy and you don't want to look up workout splits or something bro just do anything some sort of something but anyways you don't have a workout schedule to where you don't have a split you don't on monday you're it's just you're just doing anything bro and then you show up once a week maybe twice a month of course you're not gonna get results of course you're not gonna get the results bro you're not gonna get zero results if you have no schedule it's the same thing with anything it's kind of like me being consistent right my schedule has been shit lately i'm not gonna lie you've seen it sometimes i'm posting every other day sometimes i'm posting every four days shit so it's like of course my views went down of course my my um my reach my my audience started going down, bro. I stopped being, do you see what I'm saying? That's a pure example, prime example right there. I'm literally basing it off me. I stopped posting a little bit or inconsistent with my shit on Instagram, all that stuff. By the way, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, I always forget to promote my IG. It's Mac underscore method, bro. Follow me on IG, like real talk, follow me on IG and like this video, subscribe to this channel because I see a lot of y'all be watching my videos and y'all don't even like or subscribe. Low key playing me dirty, bro. Anyways, the point is you see how as soon as I start being shit with my consistency, my views, traction starts going down, barely any comments, you know, stuff like that. So it's like the same thing with your journey. If you are inconsistent, you're barely going you don't know what you're doing you're some one day you're doing arms for five minutes thinking that's cool and then the next day you're doing the same thing like bro it's not working bro i'm gonna move on to the next point though two you have shit form you do the bare minimum so it's facts a lot of you guys will go there to the gym and let's say you got the schedule you got you know some sort of a split something but you're still shit because your form sucks and i get it guys i'm not talking about people that are straight beginners even though beginners will be doing this but even then some people that are going to the gym heavy they still have shit form 
and obviously it depends on what you're doing guys because i'm not the guy that's only training for hypertrophy i definitely do strength training i definitely do you know for uh muscle uh what is the word to condition my muscles you know what i'm saying to have them i do all type of different training so i know when someone's doing something for something you know what i'm saying like what type of training they're doing for a specific thing like if i see a guy he's doing bench a certain way i know okay this dude's training for strength this dude's doing that this dude but the guys that are there that they look they don't you know what i'm saying they look terrible it's just because they're not they're not training right and you can see it they, they want to grow muscle but they're not training good at all their form sucks the worst range of motion no tension at the bottom they're not controlling the weight zero on the negative but they want to build muscle like bro you gotta have your form on point well i don't know how to do it you're literally on youtube you're on the platform that you can search up any type of video you want you can literally just look at a video bro there's billions of videos at this point you're on the you're literally on the platform to get the videos it's like, dude, look up the videos and find out how to do it. <laughs> like, or or if you don't want to do that for some reason, literally go ask anybody that works out in the gym that looks good, that looks like, okay, this guy knows what he's doing, clearly. Ask him how to do it. Because guess what? That dude that you're so scared to ask, he's going to help you out. That dude's going to be more than happy to be like, oh, yeah, this is how you do it show you exactly how he does it, exactly the best way to do anything. Anytime someone asks me how to do something, I'm always helping them, oh, this is how you do it, this is how I do this, this is how I do that, oh, this is how I got my shoulders like this, no pump, by the way, this is how I got my arms like this, no pump, by the way. I had to just flex on you guys real quick. No, but um, real talk, those guys are gonna help you do it. I've gotten so many people ask me all the time if I go to a different gym, obviously not at my same gym, unless it's a new person, because at this point I'm at the gym every single day. They know who I am. But I'm saying like if it's a new person or I'm at a different gym, whatever, and someone sees me working out and they they'll come up. I've gotten I've gotten it all the time where they come up and ask me, yo, you know what I'm saying? How do I do this? How do I can you help me? Can you do? Yeah, I can help you, bro. I'm willing to help you. Yes, this is how you do it. This is how you get the gains. This is how I do it this is the best way i'd explain it you know what i'm saying all that stuff so ask the guy if you don't want to look up a video for whatever reason ask to anybody that looks good in the gym that knows what they're doing ask them they're gonna help you um three your diet is worse than your training so if your training is shit, there's no way your diet is good bro it, it's because usually someone's training is good but their diet is shit for the most part but if you're if you're training is shit, bro i know your diet is shit. And and you're and then you're sitting there wondering why you can't get aesthetic, why your physique sucks, it's still average. You've been in the gym for two years, but it's still horrible. It's because your diet sucks, bro. Diet is the most important part. Yes, training is obviously important, but diet is literally the most important thing. Like, you know this, bro. You go to McDonald's every day, bro. You're probably eating a Big Mac right now with fries, KFC a biscuit in your mouth fat as fuck like obviously you're not gonna get abs bro like let's keep it real you're not gonna get these abs horrible lighting but you get the gist it's just not you're not gonna get it bro um and that's the thing you have abs but you're fat as shit so you're not gonna see it well, <laughs> Yeah, I've been serious. I've been talking shit in these videos, bro. I can't even lie. Um, no, but let, let me let me get back on it. But real shit though, your diet is worse than your training. You gotta stop eating fucking shit. Like at this point, there's no other way to. I like, I don't know how to get you guys not to stop to stop eating garbage, especially if you're just starting. Especially if you've been if you feel like your physique is the same and you you feel like oh but my training is good you you know what i mean um i'm doing this i'm doing that i got a perfect split i'm recovering why isn't it it's your diet it's literally your diet you're not tracking or you're just eating shit like straight up you're just eating bad bro you're eating bad you know you are you you are bro like I, there's no 
there's no other reason if your training is on point you feel like you have enough rest days you feel like yeah you're gonna see results but the reason why you're not seeing the the maximum results the results you want is because you're not eating good how is it that when i was eating shit yeah i still look like a beast yeah i was still out here but it, it was slow my results were slowing down guess what the moment i dialed in my my excuse me my diet guess what my shoulders grew fucking, bro everything man i can go on and on but fix your fucking diet fix your diet oh how do i fix it i'm not okay four you don't recover properly that's another thing that i actually struggle with that's another reason why my results were I wouldn't even say slowing down because honestly, guys, I'm always improving little by little. And I'm not a beginner in the gym, bro. So my gains aren't going to be like, you know, crazy. But low key, they've been crazy. In in a short amount of months, four months, bro, my shoulders been tripled in fucking size, bro. Probably because I started actually doing my shoulders properly. And guess what? I started sleeping better. And now I've been sleeping way better because, bro, yeah, I feel like even me sleeping, it's been what, like four or five i say five days now that I've been sleeping good. Maybe I'm delusional, bro, but low-key, I'd be feeling like, damn, I'm getting more grains a little bit from my sleep, bro. <laughs> Straight up. So sleep good. Sleep properly. You got to sleep. And I'm literally a hypocrite because my sleep schedule sucks. I'm improving it now, but for the longest time, it's horrible, bro. Like, I'm keeping it real. It's terrible. Probably why I broke out. You know what I'm saying? All this stuff. But you got to get your sleep dialed in and you got to actually have blood flow days. Now, this is something that they're called rest days. People call them active days, or active rest days, rest days, whatever. I call them blood flow days. This is what I made up. And basically what it is, it's basically just an active rest day, bro. I just call it blood flow days. It's just you literally stimulate your body. You do any type of exercise, any type of movement, whatever it is. It can be running. It can be push-ups. It can be squats. It can be all three. It can be damn near anything. The point is to just get your blood flowing through your body because if you didn't know, blood heals. Blood heals, bro. So guess what? If you stimulate your body, whatever body part, you get blood flowing to it. It's going to recover. It's going to repair that muscle faster. I'm not saying do a full-blown hour-to-hour workout. It's literally meant to be 10 minutes, 20 minutes. It's literally just for you to be moving and getting blood to that body. So every day I work out no matter what, but obviously on my blood flow days, which is like two days out of the week, I take it easy. It's not, I'm not doing a two hour, an hour workout hard. I'm not doing that, bro. I'm doing 20 minutes, 30 at the most. And it's not even anything crazy. I'm literally just stimulating my body, my legs, my arms, my chest. Whatever body part I hit the day before, I'm gonna stimulate it so it heals. I'm gonna stimulate everything on my body. You should you should never be sedentary, you guys. Never be sedentary. Always do some sort of exercise, some sort of movement, whether it's jump roping, running, biking, whatever, bro. Something. You have to stimulate your body. That's how you recover fast. That's how I recover fast as hell. Even though my sh my sleep is shit, um, and things like that. So. That's how I do it. You're probably, you probably don't recover. You probably feel like, oh, I gotta work out for 10 hours every day. No, bro, you need to actually have two rest days. I recommend always two rest days, um, but make those rest days in a blood flow day. Stimulate your body. Five, this is the most important. Now this is, I put this shit in all caps, bro, because you keep trying to bulk. Oh my God. I'm going to now. this video is already 14 minutes long. And now this is damn near going to be 30 minutes. I already know because I'm going to go off on a big ass rant right now. Stop trying to fucking bulk, bro. This is for people. Obviously, I'm talking about the guys that are already big. And I, I got shit on the skinny guys, too. But for the most part, it's be you fat, not even fat, but you big ass people like oh my god i gotta use my boy as an example and my other uh friend as an example acquaintance as an example dude why the freak 
I'm saying freak, even though I've just been cursing this entire video. Why the fuck are you still trying to bulk, bro? Literally, my my boy the other day was like, oh, um, telling me we started working out, right? And if he watches this video, he knows who the fuck I'm talking about. We started working out, and then he goes, oh, I'm trying to um, I'm trying to get like you, whatever. I'm trying to lose my weight, or I'm trying to um, get the cut. He's trying to. <laughs> this you know what i'm saying look at this it, with shitty lighting look bro stop playing with me back to what i was saying though um he's over here talking about oh i want to do this i want to do that um this and that <laughs> i literally just said nothing the point is my man's trying to get the striations get the cut and look big but the thing is and i told him i'm like okay so what are you doing he's like oh i'm trying to bulk right now i'm like bro what what are you talking about bulk you don't need a bulk bro he's like i don't have abs he he doesn't have a stunt he's not fat or anything he's not fat at all but he doesn't have abs though and he, and he has a little bit like barely a stomach you know what i'm saying just enough to where it covers the shit and i'm like how do you think bulking is gonna make you look get your abs bro he has a big ass frame on top my boy is big at the top he has the wide frame the only thing is, and his arms aren't even small either. He has good shoulders. He has the frame. It's just he doesn't have the cuts. So I'm looking at him like, bro, you don't need a bulk, bro. You need a fucking cut. You need a cut. You need to cut 10 pounds, 15 pounds, and you're going to look crazy shit. Because it's not like you're going to cut and just only do cardio and you're not going to work out at all. No, bro, you're going to lose the weight and you're going to be still working out. You're, th that's all you have to do. And then you're gonna get the physique. You're gonna get the aesthetic. He already has the frame. He has the V. He's wide at the top. Like, he could get even the abs. He doesn't have the abs to where it's like block for block, like that. But he has the, like the um, like the lines are starting to come in, and where the sense where it like on the side. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how to explain it. I, mean, I should just get up and show you guys. But he has the lines and. It's just he needs to lose more weight. So then he's telling me, talking about a bulk. I'm like, bro, what What are you talking about? No, no, you don't need a fucking bulk. And a lot of you fucks keep talking. Like, stop, bro. I just said stop. Stop, you fucking idiot. You don't need a bulk, bro. You don't need a bulk. You need a cut. You need to cut your weight. Still work out, lift heavy. Focus on form. The negative. You, at this point, you know how to work out because the people that are talking, oh, I need to keep bulking, is they have a good frame and all that. They just have a stomach because they keep fucking eating. How how do you think you're going to get abs, bro? You are you already don't have the abs. So how do you think eating more and getting bigger is going to give you abs? Like, what? What are you talking about? And then the skinny guys, like... They, uh, they are stupid too is because like bro well they already have the abs for the most part the skinny guys they have the abs but the problem with the skinny guys is that they don't eat i was the skinny guy that didn't eat bro i was sitting there wondering why i'm not getting bigger probably because i didn't fucking eat you gotta eat the problem with the fat guys is that they eat fucking too much and the problem with the skinny fucks is that they don't eat and i was that i didn't eat bro i worked out hard as hell no one can take that away from me. I always worked out hard. Always, always, bro. Never. You can never outwork me. I don't care who it is. But you can't, bro. I, I'm just in that shit going crazy every time. Everyone that, anyone who's worked out with me, PR'd. Anyone that worked out with me, they can't, bro. It's, I do this shit. But the problem with me, yeah, I do this shit, but it didn't matter because I didn't fucking eat. I didn't eat, bro. So I didn't really, yeah, it was like, it's like I got the, the cut, the muscle, but it wasn't. I didn't get really big because I didn't eat. And guess what? As soon as I started eating, I started to actually get big. Damn, this video is long as shit again. Fuck. Um, what the hell was I saying? So yeah, skinny fuckers, you have to eat, bro. You have to. I'm sorry. Like, but I'm eating enough. No, the fuck you're not. If you were eating enough, you would have grew. Oh, but I'm eating this and that. Well, eat more. Uh, I can't even, I don't even know an excuse at this point. Just eat fucking more, dude. I thought I was eating a lot until I started eating more than a lot, than my a lot. And guess what? I started gaining weight. 
Like it's it's really and there's nothing else I can tell you. Drink more smoothies, drink more fucking protein shakes, all that shit. Fuck it. I mean, obviously track, try to track, but at this point, you fuckers just gotta eat, bro. Just eat, just fucking eat. Cause you skinny fuckers like me, I get it, bro. It's hard to gain weight. I'm a hard gainer in terms of gaining weight, which is a good thing, honestly. That's a good curse to have, but it is annoying as fuck when you're trying to, why am I not growing and you're not gaining weight? Now, pff, I'm growing weight fast. I, if y'all don't know, I'm going, to, I'm bulking up to 190. I'm going to 190, I'm cutting five pounds, uh, five pounds um in the course of like four months i'm just gonna i'm gonna get i'm gonna look fucking shredded you guys think i'm on drugs now steroids now i'm really gonna look like i'm on steroids and when after i'm done next summer bro you're gonna see this shit anyways back to you fat fucks stop fucking bulking you idiot stop you need a cut and then i was flaming my first friend the second guy i seen him at the gym he's just so tight he, and this guy was big as shit too I looked at this guy because I seen him. I haven't seen him in a couple months. And I seen him I was like, damn, this thing is big. Like, he got big. Like, yeah, he got a little bit of stomach, this and that. But his frame up top, this guy didn't look like that before. This nigga, I'm like, yo, you're in this shit. I'm like, yeah, he's like, you're going hard or what? He's like, oh, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I've kind of fell off, but I, I haven't worked out in two weeks, this and that. But I've seen him because I hadn't seen him in a, in a couple months. Like I just said, he looked it big, but... Not like big as in he's fat as shit now, no muscle. Like, no, he looked big, bro. Like, up here, the frame is good. He has a wide frame. The shoulders was popping. The arms, you can see the arms, you know what I'm saying? He didn't have the cuts or definition like that, but it, it's the... He has the sculpture. He has the fucking shit. Yes, he has a little bit of the stomach, but that's an easy fix. And then he comes up to me talking about, oh, you look crazy, you look good, whatever. He's like, I'm trying to look like that. But I just feel like I got to keep bulking. I'm like, I literally told him, I'm like, bro, what the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about? You don't need a fucking bulk. You don't have to bulk. You're are, like, you have a good frame, bro. You're, <laughs> I, I just, I don't get it. You don't have to fucking bulk, dude. You have the size, you have the frame, you're fucking big, your arms are big. You just, what, you wanna keep getting fucking fat? Oh, and then he started this bullshit, oh my God. He was like, I'm gonna lose strength. I'm about to end this video. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel, bro, fucking idiots.